back to Dalsan TV. My name is Abdirazak Ali. The Al-Qaeda linked group Al-Shabaab has carried out a suicide attack and stormed a residential house which belongs to a senior Somali military official in Abdaziz district in Mogadishu. The Al-Qaeda linked terror group Al-Shabaab carried out a suicide attack and stormed a residential house belonging to a senior military commander in Mogadishu's Abd Aziz district on Tuesday. Security forces are currently engaged in a firefight with the militants inside the house, which also houses Ma'awi Slaim militia men who were recently injured in the ongoing offensive against Al-Shabaab in Hiran region. Police have not released any details on the number of casualties. Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack. This is the first time the group has stormed a residential house, as it was previously known for staging attacks on hotels and government offices. Last month, the militants attacked the compound that housed the Mogadishu mayor's office and other local government facilities in Mogadishu, killing five civilians and injuring four others. The latest incident comes as the Somali government continues its military operations in several regions to dislodge Al-Shabaab from towns and villages. The Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Hamza Abdibare, argues for the Somali judiciary to bring justice when defender kills Somali citizens without legal process. Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi argues for the Somali judiciary to bring justice when a defender kills Somali citizen without legal process. He noted a lot about how important the justice system is and how it needed to protect the rights and property of citizens. The Prime Minister told the annual meeting of the Somali Attorney General that they should work hard to improve the justice system and give prosecutors edge over criminals who shoot civilians in the streets. He expressed concern about bribery, corruption and lack of access to justice in Somalia. Domestic revenue cannot develop until we combat and eliminate corruption, and we must remove suspicious persons who engage in nepotism, corruption in government organizations, he continues. He also advises the Somali community to stay away from anything that eases corruption and poor management. On Sunday, armed men wearing Somalia security uniforms shot three civilians in different locations in Mogadishu. The victims also include a student. This afternoon, the police spokesman Saeed Dodisho told the media that the security agencies had cuffed, suspecting yesterday's murder and added to his remarks that there are ongoing security operations in Mogadishu. In Mogadishu, there is a significant presence of the armed forces in the city, and they found civilians as they passed by on the highways. The Somali military court sentenced death to several soldiers convicted by government forces. Somali, sec Somali security and military deal with terrorist groups, and there's a strong mistrust between the soldiers and ordinary people while they use the same road. Somalia's judiciary is in disarray as the government works to establish an independent judiciary commission. International transparency ranked Somalia as one of the world's most corrupt countries. A fierce fighting between Somaliland forces and SSC Katumo forces has once again erupted on the outskirts of Las Anod on Tuesday. Last Anod, fierce battle between Somaliland forces and the SSC Katumo forces erupted on the outskirts of Last Anod once again on Tuesday. According to reports, the fighting started after Somaliland army attacked SSC army post on the outskirts of town. However, the Somaliland government later released a statement claiming that the SSC attacked the army bases, but they defended themselves. Organizations including Amnesty International, Humanitarian Watch and Committee to Protect Journalists, CPJ, urged a Somali court to dismiss charges against journalist Abdallah Ahmed Moumin. Organizations including Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch and the Committee to Protect Journalists urged Somali court to dismiss charges against journalist Abdallah Ahmed Moumin. The groups also claim that the government's decisions to apprehend Moumin was an attempt to victimize strong-willed Somali journalists. In a letter to Somalia's Attorney General, the group stated that continuing Mu'min's prosecution not only cast a chilling effect on media freedom and journalism, but it also significantly contributed to the closing civic space in the country. Officers in Mogadishu Central Prison freed Mu'min on Monday mere officers in Mogadishu Central Prison freed Mu'min on Monday mere hours after his conviction, but the charges against him stand. The court charged Mu'min under three articles of the Penal Code. Article 219 involves bringing the nation into contempt. Article 322, uh, the court charged Mu'min under three articles of the Penal Code. Article 219 involves bringing the nation into contempt. Article 321 disallows instigation to obey the laws and Article 505 
concerns none observance of orders of authorities. Momin pleaded not guilty to all three charges. Momin was arrested in October 2022 as part of a police raid on journalists accusing of publishing Al Shabaab propaganda. He was then imprisoned for five months, sparking protests calling for his release. Thank you so much for watching Dalsan TV. My name is Amrizak Ali. Have a 